Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we are going to be having another week of Premier League predictions. But before we do, we're obviously going to have a look at the predictions from last week. If you guys don't understand how it works, we get half a point for getting the correct team to win. And if I do somehow get the correct score, I get one point. I just want to keep it simple, really. Um, maybe I can implement something different soon, but as of now, it's the same plan. Now, let's run through last week's games and my predictions. Now, last week, I predicted Nottingham Forest to beat Sheffield United 3-1. It was actually 2-1. I did predict Luton Tom Burnley. Obviously, they didn't actually play, so we're not going to count that. Liverpool, I thought they were going to win 4-0. Um, they won 3-1, I believe, so that's only half a point. So that's one point so far. Wolves, I you know expected them to lose, but I thought Brighton were going to just edge it with a 2-1 win. They actually smashed Wolves 4-1, so that's another half a point. Now, this is where you know it didn't went well. Fulham against Brentford. I thought it was going to be a 1-1 draw. It was a 3-0 Brentford win. So, yeah. Great. Um, another bad one. I thought Spurs were going to draw Manchester United 2-2. But actually, it was a Spurs 2-0 Manchester United win. Um, so far, we are on 1.5. Man City, Newcastle United, I thought it was going to be a 2-1. It was a 1-0. Um, Aston Villa, Everton. Um, I went with a 3-1 Aston Villa win. It was actually a 4-0. So, that's only half a point. Um, West Ham, Chelsea. I did really, really poorly there because I thought Chelsea were going to win. But, they didn't. I predicted a Chelsea 2-0 win. It was West Ham 3, Chelsea 1. So, that was poor. And to wrap up match day two, I went with Crystal Palace 1, Arsenal 2. It was Crystal Palace nil, Arsenal 1. So that's half a point, one point, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. So I, did, I actually didn't do too badly, if I'm being honest. I got two and a half on match day one. So we get three points here, not too bad. But let's start off the new week. I don't think this week we have got fixtures that are like, wow. Actually, we have got one fixture, actually, that is like, wow. Now, every week we'll be talking about a specific fixture, especially, that is like, wow. Match day one. I mean, we had Chelsea-Liverpool on match day one. That was, wow. We had, um, what did we have in match day two? I completely forgot. It was Spurs, Manchester United, and Man City, Newcastle United. Um, so we've had some good games so far. This week's big game is actually Newcastle United hosting Liverpool. But we'll get to that towards the end. But let's start things off with the earliest kick-off actually happening um, on the day that I'm recording. It is Chelsea hosting Luton Town. Now, obviously, like I said earlier on, Luton Town have had a week off completely off obviously they didn't play their game as you know their stadium is still um being sorted out and everything so they didn't play against burnley now they're traveling away to chelsea at stanford bridge having not played since that brighton game um away from home i believe it was it's going to be tough it's going to be rough so i'm gonna go chelsea to win 2-1, I don't think Chelsea will blow Luton Town away. I have the feeling, I don't really, you know, kind of get, you know, where the goals are going to come from. Look, I think Chelsea will win. I, I do think Chelsea have the quality to win. But where are they going to go and get four or five goals from? I don't see that happening. So, I'm going to go for tidy. It's going to be a narrow, but it's going to be a good Chelsea win to obviously bounce back from a defeat and so far just one out of a possible four points um, picked up so far next up 
Bournemouth against Tottenham Hotspur. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Bournemouth, obviously, you know, kind of a weird start for them, really. Obviously, last week they lost um, away uh, to Liverpool, didn't they? Um, but then they drew West Ham on the opening day. So, realistically, you know, their fixtures so far have been tough, have been tough. They've played West Ham, they've played Liverpool, they've played Spurs, or they're going to play Spurs at least. You know, they're going to get these games out of the way, which is a positive, really. Um, but I don't see Bournemouth getting anything. I'm going to go Bournemouth nil, Spurs 3. I just feel like I've been very impressed with Postacoglu, Spurs, Bisuma, and just how this team works. The signings of Vicario and Van der Ven have really changed this team. Udo G coming in, Pedro Porto. They're attacking, but it seems like the attacking outlet has affected and impacted more than what they miss defensively, if that makes any sense. So, I do think Spurs will get the win and get the three points and, you know, obviously carry on their good start because... They've went away to Brentford, they've picked up a point, they've beaten Manchester United at home and if they can go to Bournemouth and they can pick up a win, that will be a good start for Spurs. Next up, Brentford against Crystal Palace. Um, now, Brentford have been outstanding so far. Opening day, obviously at home, um, picked up a point against Spurs and then obviously trashed Fulham away. Um, at Craven Cottage. As for Crystal Palace, they got, you know, a win away against Sheffield United, didn't they? Um, but yeah, at home against Arsenal, they just lost it. But it was Arsenal, so you can't really judge too much. But Palace, not a bad start. A win against Sheffield United, obviously, then a loss to Arsenal. So you can't really say that Palace have been awful because you look at the games they've been playing. Arsenal is not easy. Brentford, however, have really showed that they are very good. So I'm just going to go Brentford 3, Crystal Palace 1. It's very straightforward, really. It's not really a game that's going to get you be like, hmm, maybe. I think it's a straightforward game. And so is the next one, Arsenal-Fulham. It's straightforward, in my opinion. I think Arsenal will win. They've looked very, very good. Um, They've had, is it two wins from two? Um, did they win their first two games? Um, now, obviously, they did win their last game against Crystal Palace away. And they did beat Nottingham Forest 2-1. So, realistically, yeah, it's two from two so far. Forest um, and Palace. Now, Fulham, they have to pick up wins from these sort of games where the team might be a mid-table opponent. Sooner or later, they'll play your Manchester Cities, your Manchester United, your Liverpools. You will get to that stage where you are playing these teams. So just try to pick up as much points as possible against these mid-table teams. I think Arsenal will. I'm going to go 1-0. I don't see Arsenal, like Chelsea actually, uh, surprisingly, scoring and blowing Fulham away. I think it will be a, a comfortable game. But I don't think they will score 3, 4, 5 goals. Um... And then Manchester United, nothing in forward. I think another straightforward game. Look, Manchester United had a bad game. Bad, bad game against Spurs away. The opening game against Wolves wasn't convincing. So where are you going to get the confidence from? You can't really. But I'm going to go with a Manchester United 2-0 win against Nottingham Forest. I do think that they can rebound from this. And, you know, this might be the start of, you know, like last season, for example, they lost their first two games against Brighton and Brentford and then they had that one good result and then the things just started changing from then. So, realistically, if they can come over here, get themselves a good win at home against, I would assume, what is going to be a team that might be fighting off relegation, but a mid-table team, you know, I do believe that they can do it. Now, maybe the first game that is not 
very, very straightforward. Everton against Wolves. Both teams have been crap so far. Both teams have lost their first two games so far. For the hosts, Everton, um, the first game was against Fulham at home where they lost 1-0. And then they travelled away to Villa Park where they got smashed 4-0. Was it 4-0? Um, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Um, as for the visitors, Wolves, first game away against Manchester United, they lost. Second game um, at home to Brighton, they lost 4-1 as well. So, they haven't really had a very good start whatsoever. It's Both teams are honestly not looking good. I think this is the kind of game that both Sean Dyche and Gary O'Neill will be looking at it going, we have to get three points. I think if Everton win, I think Wolves will be looking at themselves going, this is going to be a rough season. If Wolves win, Everton will be looking at it going, it's going to be a rough season for us. So I think this game determines who is going to have more of a chance to be relegated. Because in my opinion, I think either a team like Wolves or Everton are going to get relegated um, realistically. So who is it going to be? You don't know. I don't know. I do still predict that Wolves will get relegated. Um, but I'm going to go 1-1. I think a draw, overall, it might seem like a good result for both teams, but it's not. You want the three points. You want to pick up as many points as you can. But I'm going to go 1-1. Brighton, West Ham. Both teams lost. Actually, won, sorry. Um, nearly said lost. Uh, both teams won their last game now. Brighton won away against Wolves. West Ham won at home against Chelsea. Um, but West Ham obviously drew away against Bournemouth. And Brighton at home against Luton Town. They smashed them. Is it going to be 3 4 ones? I don't think so. I think it's going to be a 3-1 though. I think Brighton will win this game 3-1. Home advantage as well. They've got these bunch of players playing so well. I'm really impressed at Julio and Ciso. He's incredible. Uh, but you also have Solid March, underrated. Um, you also have Joe Pedro, very good striker. Kao Mitoma. And it seems like maybe the loss of Caicedo and McAllister hasn't really kicked in just yet. I think eventually, at one point of the season, it might you know be rough. It might kick in and the effect might start happening. But so far, they're enjoying life. They're enjoying their time. And I think they'll win this game. Last few games, Sheffield United, Man City. Um, it's tough because realistically, how many are, Sheff are Man City going to get? Um, I'm going to go 4-0 Man City. Screw it. Why not? For a bit of fun. Sheffield United, I worry for them. I really do. I don't think they're going to get enough goals. I mean, they saw Ndaye to Marseille. And they're relying... Who are they relying on? McGoldrick, McBurney, like who are they even going to rely on up top to score? I don't even know. As for Man City, Erling Haaland, you know, they might have KDB, but they've got Foden, they've got Grealish, they've got Bernardo Silva, they've got Cole Palmer, who can all step up and fill in that role. Their squad depth is still very, very incredible. So I do think that Man City will win. Last two games, first up, Burnley, Aston Villa. Hmm. Burnley looked alright, you know. Burnley looked alright. Um, against Man City and it, they didn't play so we can't judge I'm gonna go Burnley 1 Aston Villa 4 it might seem like oh my days what but Aston Villa seem to be so good I watched them against Hibernian I believe in the conference league playoff or something and they looked so amazing so sharp Ollie Watkins is incredible John McGinn Leon Bailey is back you got Musa Diaby and his electric pace. And then you've got players like Douglas Luiz and Kamara. It's such a balanced team. I just can't see Burnley getting away from this with a win. Maybe a draw maybe. But I just feel like Villa will tear Burnley apart. Lastly, Newcastle United. Liverpool. I predict goals. I'm going to go with a draw. 
Is this my only draw? No, it's not. It's my second draw. I did predict a draw for Everton Wolves. I'm going to go Newcastle, United 3, Liverpool 3. Yes, I'm going crazy now. Um, I'm going to go with a six-goal thriller. I'm going to go with both teams scoring three each because Newcastle and United against Liverpool always seem to have goals in them. And I do think that both teams will score. I do think both teams have the quality to go and get the win. But it's such a tight um, call, really. Who are you going to really predict to get the win? It's tough. So I'm going to go with a draw. But let me know where your thoughts are down below and your predictions. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Pesh.